Howdy friends, Guthrie Trapp here coming to you from my place in East Nashville, Tennessee, as I always like to say. Hey, uh, this is not going to be a guitar video, but I wanted to share something with you that I've found um, out to be true for me. Um, not sure how this works for everybody, but I will say that I've learned this in the past, um, I guess, month or so. Um, and I've heard this, but uh, one of the interesting things that I've found, I've gotten a lot of comments and, and stuff and uh, positive feedback, which is amazing and very supportive and very motivating, and very helpful and flattering and all those uh, great things. But uh, I did need to get in shape. I lost about 22 or 23 pounds uh, in the past year or so during a, a, about a, a month long period. And, um, you know... It was um, just me kind of feeling uncomfortable and, and wanting to make a change. And, I, and I'm not a very, you know, I don't have a lot of self-control or discipline or anything like that. But I did make myself do this. And so I was uh, doing this regimen that was pretty strict, eating, you know, really clean uh, every day. And then I was doing a bunch of cardio every day, three miles and uh, walking really, really, really fast uh, for three miles every morning uh, or sometime in, during the day, but every day, religiously. And then, uh, you know, um, then I kind of, once I started losing a little weight, started lightening up a little bit, started jogging a little bit, you know, light jogging and stuff like that. So I was thinking that I had to do all this cardio and stuff. And so then, uh, uh, th this is the interesting part that I'm getting to, is over the past, probably I'd say, two and a half to three weeks at this point. I've, I got so busy here. I had some family in town. Um, and then things just really ramped up to where, man, it's like every day, all day, morning till night, I'm slammed. And so I kind of fell out of my uh, cardio exercise routine, but I kept eating good. And I've managed to maintain my 160 weight. I went from 182 or 183 down to 160 and I've been able to manage that uh, pretty pretty well. I mean, it hasn't crept up at all. If it does, it's uh, I got a digital scale that I weigh myself on every morning and it just, um, it tells you, you know, you might be 160.6 or seven, but then, you know, it changes throughout the day and daily and stuff like that. So, um, but I've managed to, ma to, to maintain that 160. And so I'm realizing that uh, although exercise is, uh, of course, you know, really good for you and good for your heart. And I'm, I'm going to continue to get on my program, probably starting today, back on the cardio. But I just wanted to say that I think it's, uh, like I heard, it seems to have proven to be true, where it's like 90% uh, diet and, and, and not as much uh, cardio, which I was realizing. Now, You'll see if you get into this, like I'm not really into the fitness or the health stuff. I don't know anything about it. I'm just doing what's working for me. I'm not nerding out here by any means. But if you go to the gym, which I like to do my cardio and my walks and stuff outside because I, I you know, look at all the other aspects of just, you know, getting outside, getting some fresh air, mental health, you know, lowering your stress level, good for your heart. There's all these benefits to I'm not going to go run like a hamster on a on a treadmill at the gym unless it's really really well. Even I ran in the snow last year, but uh, it's just it's got to be raining to do that. So um, anyway, uh, what I was going to tell you was um, uh, I forgot what I was going to say. But 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 anyway, I mean you know I just think that um, that it's it's pretty interesting that that that, that happened. I just weighed myself early or earlier this morning. And uh, I thought, man, I'll do a video on this because I'm realizing, like, last night I had a cheeseburger and a bunch of bread. I had dinner with John Oates. He was actually in this room yesterday uh, doing um, this thing for Reddit. We actually broke the streaming. We had over 400,000 streams. We crashed the Reddit app site, I guess, like three times. It was really crazy. It was some historic stuff, I guess, that happened here yesterday, which... We had no idea what we were doing. We had some guy come down that is a manager buddy of his that does a bunch of social media stuff, and he ran the show. And it was like we had no. We and me and Oates were like, okay, man, just tell us when to start playing, and we'll we'll play. And then it started it started crashing. And he was on the phone with the people out in San Francisco. It was like pretty crazy. And so, um, but anyway, getting back to this stuff, just you know, I eat the same stuff. I I'm, uh, 
I'm um, eating like, um, you know, fruit in the morning or sometimes I'll just have coffee and won't eat any breakfast. Or lately I've been having a little muffin or a croissant. And then, um, you know, like I said, last night I had a cheeseburger. I was so hungry. I had a cheeseburger and some bread and some stuff like this and, um, and French fries. And once you get to where your body, I guess, is metabolizing a certain way that, that it, it's okay to burn it off. Oh, I was going to say, so if you go to the gym and you're running on the treadmill and you can see the math, if you look at a drink, like I'll sometimes get like a chocolate drink or something from the uh, health food store up here, and it'll have like, maybe it says it's 180 calories or something, right? Just in that one little drink. And so if you go to the gym and look at the treadmill, um, it it's going to take, it, it takes like an hour to burn off 180 calories or, or maybe more, uh, all depending on how fast you're going, of course, and, and whatever. But when you look at the math like that and you see that like, God, if you go to McDonald's or, or you know, God forbid some, um, you know, uh, fast food place, which of course we all do it. It's there, you know, sometimes you just got to have it, but like, you know, you look at a Big Mac, a milkshake and some French fries, you're looking at like what, like 2000 calories. You'd have to be on that treadmill for, you know, 20 hours to burn that off. So it's just the math and I'm exaggerating here, of course, but if you look at it, it's not that far off. The amount of exercise that you would have to do to burn off those calories and actually lose, lose the weight it's nearly impossible. Nobody's going to do it. But if you don't put that in to begin with, and you're, it's all just the math, the intake versus the outtake. So, um, or the output input versus output. And so I'm just sharing with you folks that it was a pretty kind of a revelation to me to see that like, man, I, I haven't exercised in probably three weeks and I'm still able to maintain this, this weight, uh, and, and kind of slenderness that I've gained because, um, of the, um, just of the diet, I think. So I'm just sharing that with you. Not a guitar video, but I have had a lot of comments on that. Um, the, the booze might have something to do with it. I'm on day 87, I think, no booze. And uh, and I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. I will admit that the past couple weeks that, the you know, as I got really, really busy and more stressed, you know, the thought of having a nice drink at the end of the day and unwinding a little bit um, and, and stuff started really creeping in there and kind of pulling on me pretty hard. But I stayed strong. You know, and I've got some good friends that have been sober a long time. And um, and I just needed a break. I needed to pump the brakes and, and kind of get back to, be you know, clarity and uh, kind of reset a little bit. But um, thanks so, so much, guys, for all the positivity. I love you guys. Uh, thanks for all the comments. I'm really sorry that I don't have time to get to respond to all those personally. There's been some, some heartwarming, tear-jerking comments, man. I mean, I've gotten some amazing things that I probably need to go back and respond to, but I'm really sorry that I don't have time to respond to all the comments personally. I used to try to do that, but it's just gotten out of hand now. And um, I don't, um, it's hard to devote the time to social media and all the admin stuff when I feel like I really need to be um, focusing on my creative, you know, part of this, which is why we're doing all this in the first place. So we got to keep all these things in the forefront. Don't be hard on yourself. Give yourself a break. You know, but do, you know, we're all, we're the only people that are going to kick our own ass. I get up every day and tell myself I need to be working harder. Uh, and so that's, you know, that's why we're smart and that's why we're doing well is because um, we, we do have that voice in us that says, hey, get up and do it and keep going and don't stop. And it's going to be great. So um, all that being said, not trying to be a motivational speaker here, here like Chris Farley on Saturday Night Live. Uh, I wish I could be that funny. But um, but anyway, just um wanted to share that with you. That doesn't mean stop exercising. I'm just saying it's 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 interesting how that worked out. Hey guys, see y'all soon. The next video will be a guitar video. I'm trying to grow this YouTube channel and um and of course anything guitar oriented, uh check out the links below. A lot of new stuff going on behind the scenes that'll be uh pushing out here uh, really soon as far as merch and my new website and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, uh just a little Tuesday morning uh blog here and then um and a blah blah blah. And so I uh, look forward to seeing y'all real soon. Thanks again. All right, bye.